Hi friends, I'm doing a potato burger today. So I've got a boiled potato which I have already boiled it here. I've got ready. So let's make it to make the burger tiki. Potato tiki they call it. And potato burger. I'm going to fill it in the, uh, the bun. And now I've got a one teaspoon of oil here, which I have added here a cumin seed, ginger, and because I've got a ginger paste, that's why I'm doing like this. What I'm going to do? Add a potato. So. It will not burn me. <laughs> Just put a little bit more all of it. There are many types of burgers we make it. Today I thought why not make a simple one, the potato one. A little bit more ginger paste, um, garlic paste. And uh, I'm going to do a green chili paste. So I've got all of them in the paste form. Because it is boiled, so nicely it will get mashed, not to worry. You can even just mash it and mix all the ingredients without even roasting it. So if you like, you can do that way too. With the potato masher, I'm going to mash it soon. Let me add all the spices in here and then we are going to mash it. So the first comes salt. I'm using a pink Himalayan salt which is people they call it Sandanama. So if, if you don't have that don't worry you can use the normal one. Dry mango powder. Chili powder. Just add a chili powder according to your taste. Cumin powder. And quarter teaspoon of grim masala. All that spices goes in here. Potato is ready. I'll let it cool down a bit. And then we are going to make a burger, fry them. By the time I'm going to make a fresh breadcrumb, I've cut the sides. And then now I'm going to grind it. Just a little bit more this one. So I'll just cut it. And I don't throw them. I give it to my birds outside. So I'll cut that and now grind it. So when we are using the breadcrumb for the burger, the potato burger, ali chiki, whatever you call it. And in, on that, we are going to coat it with that this breadcrumb. Other than that, I have made some coleslaw. So in this, it's got a little bit of fresh cream, like one tablespoon and two tablespoon of yogurt. Thick yogurt, the Greek yogurt and carrot and cabbage. Black pepper and little bit of salt. And this the coleslaw. I am going to use it uh, with the on the burger. So I will put it in the description box. And this are the everyone makes it, but they make it with the egg. I haven't added the egg in here. Got my burgers here ready. And this is breadcrumb. So we'll just dip it in bre breadcrumb, roll it. Just press a bit so it will give a good color and I've got my pan here. So 
So I'm going to do all of them same way. Just roll it. Keep it for pan fry. You can mix here the type of veggie you want like carrot, beetroot, beans. But today I thought why not make just with the potato because lots of people they love potato burger and just like that also aloo tikki they call it and uh, on the street food or in the restaurant you will see this uh, aloo tikki. So they are potato burger, aloo tikki, whatever you want to call. So here we have done all of them. And now let's fry them. Pan fry. Just cello fry both the sides. So I have put a little bit of oil. And once they are done, we'll turn it other side. The burgers are ready. So let's assemble it. I have just warmed it. So here goes our lettuce. Tomato slice. I've made some coleslaw, so some of that. Now we'll keep our burger in the middle. For this tomato, I'm going to sprinkle some black pepper and salt tomato sauce you can add green uh, sauce tamarind if you like it but I'm not adding it. This is a little bit of peri peri. This. Just arrange a toothpick. And I've got potato. You can serve it with potato chips. But here I have got this waffle which I'm serving with little bit of tomato sauce and salt so here guys this is veggie burger with potato or you can call it alu tiki veggie burger with the waffle. Like my page, share with your friends, press the bell icon to get the notification when I post the new videos.